Throughout my life, I have been told not to cry in front of others, no matter how sad or broken I felt inside. To my parents, teachers, friends, or others, of her co-workers, crying in public show both one's weakness and enduring the hardships of life, and their pathetic selfishness in demanding sympathy of others for being so weak. In spite of this, I found my crying a public test of best way to relieving the stress and sorrow built inside me, although those around me looked down in disapproval. I felt sorry for them, for they refused to let their own vicious treble, troubles escape from them in the same manner as I did, choosing to contain them under the disguise of a strong public composure. Pain, I found, when, however, erroid such a, as false notions and strength and endurances is pretty much from anything from the toughest people, inflicted emotionally or physically. It was the only way I could acceptably break down in tears in front of others. This is why I inflict pain on others, to make them cry, to free them from their self-contained hardships. The years of abuse, neglect, loss, isolation, I regret that. I see the blood-filled tears in those tortured eyes, looking up at my soothes my heart deeply, where one might hear the cries of anguish, cry, and fear, but the sweetest sighs of comfort and relief from those freed from lifetime's worth of misery. I hear those cries as I write this. Although it seems to be dying down, I must attend these poor souls once more to let them know that it's still okay to cry. Bye for now.